What's up guys and welcome back to another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon video and of course we got yesterday's new trailer, new trailer yesterday, whatever, and as well as that we also got some more information revealed. Now there are Pokemon I think World Championships going on, I think it's World Championships at least, going on and they revealed uh, sort of a new clip, not really a new trailer, but revealed that there are some new Z moves coming to Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon as you might expect, similar to how you got you know new Megas. Um, back for Auras, just get a few extra of the, the new mechanic for the, the generation really. And as well as that we also had um, a new feature revealed from Game Informer and that will be in a separate video a bit later on today because there's quite a few things to go over because of course we have also have to do that analysis of the new Alolan map. But this new Z move that was removed, uh, removed, revealed, not removed, it's the opposite, um, revealed what is called Clangorous Soul Blaze and it's a Z move for Cornwall. Um, and it's, it seems pretty powerful, uh, obviously it's a dragon type move, who would have guessed, and it can hit both opponents in a double battle. No, it doesn't hit the whole field, it just hits the opponent, so it's really powerful. And as well as this, it also raises all of Combo's stats, like what? So it's a huge, huge powerful move, of course we don't know what the base power is, but it's a Z move for a start, it hits both opponents in a double battle, and it raises all of Combo's stats, <laughs> like what is that? That's crazy! Um, I haven't looked too much in, into competitive for Sun and Moon, so I don't know how Z moves really rank too much on you know competitiveness. But it sounds like this will be a really powerful component for the VGC because obviously that is double battle based. So you could definitely um, make use of Cormo. And the Z crystal is called Cormo Oium Z. So just add him to the end. So sounds like we're going to get a few more Z moves revealed throughout the course of. Um, of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, either you know, in, in, in the lead up to the release or a couple more hidden in the game, as I said, similar to the Mega Stones uh, being revealed for Auras. Now, what else could we get? I'm assuming we're gonna get a few more for other Generation 7 Pokemon. So, of course, Como is fairly common or popular Generation 7 Pokemon. We have ones for the starters already, we have ones for the Tapus. You could possibly see one from the Crosma, that would make a lot of sense since it is the sort of, I'm not, not gonna say mascot, but mascot. Um, and of course you could also have Sol Galeo and Ulunala in those separate forms or just on their own. Uh, Marshall has one so don't really need one there. Magina could get one because of course it was revealed earlier so you can have an update for that. Um, but obviously that's all the legendaries really. So in terms of other Alolan Pokemon, nothing really strikes out at me. Mimikyu, definitely possible to get one. We've already seen that little clip of Mimikyu sort of coming into the camera. So that could definitely be Mimikyu's custom Z move. Uh, and like Canrock, it would make a lot of sense for like Canrock Dusk to get one too, or at least the whole like Canrock line. So of course, well, we'll see how that goes. Because again, you know, Ash in the anime can use his like Canrock Dusk and use his custom Z move, so that would make a lot of sense. And we'll see how that comes along. But let me know down below in the comment section, guys. Do you like the fact that there are new Z moves coming along? You know, are they are they similar to new Mega Evolutions in your mind back in Auras, or are Z moves not really your thing at all? Um, or you just you know, not happy to see them, happy to see them, or just don't really care either way. Let me know down in the comment section, obviously add to that by letting me know which Pokemon you actually like to see get new Z moves, and whether you think this will sort of shake up the, uh, the competitive scene, because as well, as well as Generation 7 Pokemon getting Z moves, you could extend it to be any Pokemon getting a Z move. And of course this then will link back to some more Generation 1 fan service. you could definitely see of course we have some custom Z moves already with um, Pikachu's got one of course, you know, Pikachunium, something like that. Um, so it's definitely uh, possible for other Pokemon to get custom Z moves that aren't necessarily generation um, sort of you know, generation uh, seven is the one. So Pikachu can get one. Um, there are I think one or two more well, Pikachu got two actually on it. But I think apart from that the majority of them are generation seven. Um, so there's not too much there. But you could definitely see some stuff as mentioned generation one fan service. Uh, Charizard could definitely look at getting a custom Z move because of course fan service uh, and you could extend it to the rest of the Kanto starters as well getting one. You could have one that all starters could use. Um, now that's stretching a bit because of course we've seen um, you know, either it's been one Pokemon or all Pokemon. Uh, apart from obviously Tapunium, I think it's Tapunium Z is called, for that Guardian of Alola um, Z move. So it's definitely possible for more than one Pokemon to use the same custom one so you could see some sort of you know, um, I don't know what you call it really for a fire starter, but something like that, you know, Charizard, Typhlosion, Blaziken, Infinite could all make use of. We'll see if that is a possibility, but I'm definitely expecting some Generation 1 fan service, and you can even see some Alolan forms like uh, Alolan Golem, 
or Illumin Nine Tails being able to you know, use these custom Z moves as well, because of course again they want to promote the Illumin forms and whatnot, and you could definitely see that working out there. So as I mentioned, let me know down below in the comment section whether you like the fact that we're getting new Z moves, whether it's good enough, I suppose. Yeah, you know, obviously when we had Auras, we love the new Megas, or majority of people love the new Megas. So are the new Z moves? equal in value to that or is it more just a case of you've never really liked Z moves, you don't really care, you want more Megas? <laughs> Let me know down below in the comment section as well as what Pokemon you'd like to see get custom Z moves. But that'll be it for me for this video. As mentioned I'll cover new features and also the analysis of stuff over the rest of this weekend to see what we can find. But if you enjoyed the video leave a comment and a like. But for now this is going to be it for today so I shall be seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye my friends.